guys, as you saw that, when I woke up this morning, I took a shower, had both my doors open because I have a package coming in the mail today and I don't want to miss it like last time because UPS could literally come anywhere between like 10 a.m. to like 6 p.m. So I woke up early, had my doors open when I took a shower just to make sure I heard that doorbell. No one came yet. It's currently about, I think it's like 1 p.m. I don't have my phone on me, but I have a package coming in the mail today. We'll see what that is. And while I'm waiting, let's make breakfast. Alright guys, so last week, I think it was maybe like a few days ago, I actually broke the blender that we had. It was only like a $20 blender from Walmart, so it's not a big deal, but I was making a shake and it wasn't like working, it wasn't cutting up the fruit because it's such a shitty blender, it's only 20 bucks. so I put a spoon in there, tried to help mix it up, and the spoon got caught in the, uh, whatever this is called right here, the propellers, the blades, or whatever, and it completely destroyed the spoon, destroyed the blender, it doesn't work anymore, but Christian was nice enough to go to his house, pick up a... Nutri Ninja little blender thingy, whatever. That's cool. So as you guys saw my generic shake this morning, not really much of a big deal. Just some ice cream, peanut butter, milk, and two scoops of chocolate whey. All right, guys. So there is a mild change of plans. My mom just called me. She told me that my little brother is like performing some thing for a school for like a big audience, or whatever. So he's supposed to be like Hercules, something along those lines. Not exactly sure, but I kind of got to leave within the next like five to ten minutes if I'm gonna make. So I'm definitely gonna leave. I'm gonna go see that. I'm gonna drink the shake in the car and. Maybe I'll vlog some stuff that I don't know. We'll see. Quinn, are you awake? Are I you? Mean, are you? Are, I mean, are your eyes? Are they? Are they open? Are they open? Poke me in the cornea, man. <laughs> I, I was miscalibrated. If I wasn't on the camera, I got it right. But what I'm trying to say is, Quinn, if a UPS, if a UPS man came to the door right now, rung the doorbell, gave you a package, and then asked for signature, would you be able to like complete that action? Could you do it? If I'm not in the shower, yeah. You mean the shower? Yeah, there's a good chance I'll be in there. Quinn, I'll pay you five hundred thousand dollars over the next ten years if you don't take a shower. Um, you still owe me a car. Oh shit, I owe you a car. Yeah. Wait, what do I owe you a car for? Finding your keys. Oh, that's right, that's right. You, you can have, you can have my Rav4 if you want. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that car. That piece of shit. But yeah, Quinn. I'm gonna know when he's here. Realistically. Alright guys, it just arrived and I almost parked in the uh, principal's parking spot. If this was a school that I went to when I was younger, probably would have done that. But no, now I'm like parked somewhere else where I'm probably supposed to be parked. I have no idea. It seems to be like, yeah, visitor parking right there. That's where I am. So, I'm going to go in, watch a show. Maybe I'll be able to vlog it, film. I don't know. We'll see. But I know it's supposed to be like a 15, 20 minute segment. Something along those lines. So, we'll see. I remember when I used to have recess, it was just completely mandatory it was for us and the weather would just be so cold if it's in 20 minutes it makes go outside and freeze are you are you performing today or is it just thomas thomas just thomas yeah i'll be performing in my Did you just run out here to get me yes all right tell me where to go well you'll see me running with the go running i'm vlogging in an elementary school right now Something about this feels really illegal. My tiny baby hands around sucked and choked it to death. As I grew up, I had many wise teachers, and the gods, including Zeus, wanted me to be one of them, immortals. Wow. Um, so you look a lot taller standing on that book right there. You actually do look like Hercules now. What are you doing? What? Hercules. You drew that six pack? Yeah. This is a sick costume. You look jacked. You know you can move, right? You're not a statue. Can you what? Can you leave to that little bit? I can put it inside there. Are you handicapped? <laughs> Almost. Oh wow. Okay. Он пришел ночью, вечером уже говорит, что ему утром нужна дубинка. Орка костюм сделала. Да, я помню. Я помню. Ты маску мне сделали такую страшную, крутую. Костюм тоже сшила Барри сын. Я говорит может. Все. Ты побегал достаточно, все нормально, да? Ты готов идти домой, садиться в очень удобную машину и так тихо и мелко домой приехать. Хорошо. Ладно, давай. That was pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be like where it's a huge auditorium and there's like acts going on on stage and people performing and stuff like that. I don't know why I thought that why I got that impression, but Pretty much what happened was he used to walk in the room, everyone was dressed like a little demigod, like a little Greek god in their own their own homemade outfits, and then you just walk around like you press a button on them and you like activate a special word and they tell you uh 
some Greek mythology, some stories, something like that. It was pretty cool, had a good time. So now I'm gonna go home, but I'm trying something new right now and I could potentially completely fail. And if I don't fail, it's the risk worth the reward is pretty much not in my favor whatsoever. So I'm trying to say something, show you what I mean. Got my GoPro mounted to the bottom of my car right there and yeah I just hope it doesn't fall is what I'm trying to say Stop. so we just got home but I can't walk in because right before I actually left the school my mom handed me this bag of a stuff that I need to give to a local furniture store that is about a three minute drive away from here so I'm gonna do that really quick then I'm gonna come home so we'll see you then all right, we're home and pretty much my packages arrived right here. This is the big surprise, the Zeiss Battis 25 millimeter F2 lens. This is a prime lens, my first prime lens for this full frame DSLR. So I'm gonna spend a little bit playing with it right now. So I'm 100% sure on everything then I'll show you guys real quick. All right guys, so the lens that I'm recording right now is a 16 to 35 F4. So the aperture doesn't go any more higher than F4. It doesn't get any more open than F4. So pretty much how that works is it's not that good in low light or moderate light situations. That's why I have this body, the A7S Mark II, which is the best in low light, but I still want it to be better. So right now, you should tell every, a lot more should be in focus. I'm, my face is probably in focus. I can't tell right now because I can't see the LCD. And my background behind me is just slightly, slightly blurry because it's an F4 lens. Now, I'm about to put on the F2 lens and you should have a much more milkier background, just a little bit cleaner image because the ISO doesn't have to go high. So let's see how it looks like. All right, so now I got my 25mm f2 lens and hopefully my face is in focus. Auto focus seems to be quiet, which is a good thing. And hopefully that background just a little bit more milkier. I am going to watch this on my computer to make sure it actually looks like that so I don't sound retarded. So the downside of this lens is that you can't zoom in at all. It's pretty much a prime lens, so whatever like angle it's at right now, that doesn't change whatsoever. But the benefit of that is that the image looks sharper because there's less actual elements in the lens, like less glass that the light has to go through. So it's much simpler, so the image is sharper, and pretty much the lens is lighter too, which is a big, big bonus. And it goes down to F2, which gives <coughs> that silky smooth, big open background. And it should be a lot better in like lower light situations, even though this camera is the best at low light situations. Look at this new lens, Chris. Check it out. Oh, is that your new lens? The can oh, uh -huh. shit. Chris, you know it's real dark in this room, right? Queen, you know, you know how dark it is in this no, room. No, it's not dark at all. What do you mean? Queen, it's real. Don't, don't lie to them. No, That's a skewed we, perception. They only see that, it's bright. You this have to is pretty light in this room. Are you, uh, Quentin, go, br go bring your one inch sensor little Sony Dave, RX camera and tell me how bright it is. It is pretty this bright room. in this. Uh, don't listen to Dave. It is pretty bright in here. I swear. Dave, have you lost your damn mind? Yeah, dude. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. This is oh, you mean that softbox that's in there? Dave, come and that floodlight? Yeah! Don't put that in there. <laughs> don't put that in there. <laughs> that's probably so loud for the mic, too. I probably clipped the audio on the mic. <laughs> it's 4.16 p.m. right now. I stayed at that uh, elementary school watching those Greek demigods for a little bit too long. So my day kind of got pushed back. But right now I'm currently watering. I'm not watering my boil. I'm boiling some water right now. Right, Chris? Yeah, something along those lines. So yeah, me and Chris, we're going to split some pasta. We're going to make a one huge pack and... Yeah, we're going to bite it in half, put some sauce on it, eat it, and that's going to be my last meal. Then I'm going to go to the gym. Meanwhile, I'm going to be drinking a shit ton of water just to hydrate me, pretty much expand my stomach for all this upcoming pasta. All right, guys, surprise. There is a huge surprise right now. The thing that DHL just pulled up. Yo, wow, that's big. Excuse me, Troy. David? Thank you. Quinn, this is an. That's an elephant. That shit's like. Look at that. As big as Quinn's phone. chair. See, Quinn's in the middle of a Call of Duty game. He can't speak now, but this is pretty much Quinn. This is this is like the same size box as that huge package they initially sent oh, back in the day. Oh, is that big ass package that Daniel's he's, talking about? He's so laser in the game. He he with his peripherals, he can't see this package. No, no, what? Tell me how much this weighs. Yeah, no, last we're one gonna open mine. this. We're, I'm, we're gonna open this right here. Fuck. Look at that, right there. That's Ben Francis' face right there. That's what it looks like. Look at that, right there. That's a fat one. The DHL guy's still there. Is there another box? 
some of this stuff seems to be new so instead of pretty much opening it all on camera i'm gonna open up a little bit of everything see if there's anything new and pretty much yeah that's that all right we just pretty much started unboxing and the first thing that i saw these new hoodies these are brand new these are super nice and then noel said why don't you open this so i opened this and pretty much i can't tell if this is a super 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 old gym shark hoodie which i absolutely love because it's like a nostalgic old school design or if it's brand new and they're just a revamp in that style what do you think chris uh, I think they're just bringing back some retro uh, designs from the, the you know, start. You know what? Right, so, while Quinn's playing Call of Duty right here, you probably won't be able to hear. This is the shotgun mic, but I'm just going to try on the clothes really quick. Here is Chris. Just pick a name for this. I don't know what it's called. It's a new Gymshark hoodie. All right. I have no idea what these are called. I'm just going to use common sense, right? This is the hoodie with these pulley thingies here with a zipper down the middle. Like the most dense, like fluffiest hoodie. But yeah, this is the brand new. I like that. Is this new or old, Chris? Tell me right. This is probably new. There's no way they would send it if it's like super old. This thing, I don't know if I showed you guys when I was showing stuff on the ground, but Chris, you call this a windbreaker? It's a high quality windbreaker. Beats the one I used to get at work. <laughs> yeah, you get windbreakers at work. It was like a two cent windbreaker that didn't stop anything. All right, now I'm pretty sure this is the ARC pullover hoodie. There's another hoodie that I'm gonna try on like this afterwards. It's the same thing, it just doesn't have Wow, like, oh. you see that right there? The sleeves are stretched, so I'm pretty sure with this kind of hoodie, regardless of your arm length, you'll be good. I like that. That has a nice fit to it. I like these right here on the, on the that, wrist. That's what I was telling Noel earlier. I was like, I like the little thing at the end of the sleeve. <coughs> Same thing in green with the zipper. Just the plain Gymshark shirt <clears throat> with the logo on there. <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh. It's all about the lighting, guys. It's all that matters. All right, in case you guys are wondering, pretty much everything that I'm trying on, everything that I got is a size large, except the shorts. I get my shorts in size medium. Literally everything else is large, and occasionally maybe like a medium t-shirt here and there, but pretty much everything's large, except for the shorts. Just like that. Okay, so it's pretty weird now because like I don't even want to smell this food because the smell of it's repulsing right now because I'm very, very dehydrated for some reason. So what I'm going to start doing right now is I'm going to drink probably a whole, how big are those bottles? Like, They're one liters. Quinn. I, I don't just know. Watched. I can't. I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I think Doug could do it better, Quinn. Doug is pretty damn good. I, I, in my, okay, all if, Quinn. All I'm saying is, if I had to say, if I had to bet ten dollars, I would bet ten dollars on Doug because I think he could do it better. What do you have to say about that? I think Doug could do pretty damn good, but you know, for me not playing Call of Duty for the past three years, not bad. Quinn used to be the best when he was 14 years old. Fun fact: mm -hmm. him and us friends played all the time, so he's currently regaining his motor pathways. Come on, Quinn. For the YouTube coin, you got one chance. Oh, did you kill him? Yeah. Did yes. you kill him? Yes. You kill him. Oh no! Wow! Wow! Oh, oh, pressure, yeah, Quinn. Oh, oh, yeah. If Doug was in that scenario, Doug he would have got, 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 got him. He would have got him. Guys, I don't know what happened, but for some reason, I'm just so repulsed by the idea of food right now. Like, I actually almost threw up on camera when, like, I was pouring the Bertoli sauce and the pasta just. I could not, can't even thinking about eating it right now. And plus, it's 5.30, so I'm at 6. The gym closes at 9, so if I ate right now, I probably wouldn't really be able to make it in the gym on time because I got held up at the thing in the elementary school. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm pretty much going to go to the gym right now, like ASAP, come home, and then I hopefully, I don't know why, I hope I'm not sick, then hopefully by the time I get home, I'll be able to eat completely fine, normal appetite. So in the gym today, I'm going to be wearing this hoodie. It's probably the favorite thing that I've got out of everything today because... It's kind of the old school legacy gym shark with the original logo with this crazy shark, the whole circle where it says gym shark. Can you like that? I really like that a lot. I hope Dan sends me some of that. Yeah, he's gonna send me some of that. And then I got these pants, don't know what they're called, but I like the color, like the fit. I feel like it matches well with here. You can't really see in this house right now because all the lighting's all weird, but in the gym, you'll see. I feel like you guys will like this outfit. I like it a lot. Before I actually go to the gym, I have to stop by real quick to a store to pick up a present for my little brother. Not gonna say what store it is, not gonna say what I'm getting because he might be watching this video. So we're gonna do that and then straight to the gym.
Alright guys, so I had a I had a strong workout that I thought I was gonna have. I ended up doing 225 for 5x5 five five on the incline, which is a PR, but I should have hit that a while ago, but it's still technically a PR. Didn't really see that coming today. And then after that, I went on the flat bench just for shits and giggles, try to rep out 225 and I managed to get nine, which is like I was did not see that coming is what I'm trying to say because usually like a 225 a 5 by 5 like that would fatigue me but I managed to get nine reps which surprised me and then I did another set I kind of maybe I bounced it a little bit not really locking out each rep and I managed to get a set of 10 then after that I did like two more sets probably got seven or eight so pretty much the focus on today's workout was not really do too many isolations just focus on compound lifts and do pretty much like chest and back which I did in the most general sense possible just a bunch of pressing and did a bunch of sets of pull-ups I actually didn't film every single set but I did a lot more sets of pull-ups and I'm pretty much satisfied with today's workout and slowly I'm gonna start transitioning into a proper regimented program and I can't just go in it right away because I'm gonna be so sore I'm gonna be so under recovered because my body's not used to that volume that frequency so this is my way of kind of transitioning to a proper program Appetite is finally back. Feels real good. So I'm about to devour this bowl of pasta and whatever else I eat tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna film it or not, but currently I'm the only person home. Quinn is at volleyball and Christian is at Island Gym. So I'm the only one home, so pretty much I'm just gonna eat, relax. And by relax I mean passionately edit this video and try to eat at the same time. So it's probably gonna be the end of the video. It might not be not exactly sure, but if it is. See you guys in the next video. Oh, and last thing before I go, I just want to say, guys, this painting back here, I made that in second grade. I did not paint it a month before we moved in. I made it in second grade, I swear.